Hi there, and I am here to give you a three minute spiritual direction, especially for women. Sometimes you get stuck and you don't know how to move forward. So I wanna give you some things to think about. So here is part one of a four part series. Are you ready? It comes from a book called Holy Listening and it's by Margaret Gunther. And it talks about the way we as women get in our own way. So listen to this. Far from pride, which is something that we say many times men struggle with, we as women have this way of missing the mark in our life through self-contempt. This self-hatred is symbolized by and centered on the body. I have already noted women's dissatisfaction with satisfaction with their physical selves. Studies have shown this to be particularly a feminine preoccupation and cultural messages reinforce it. Disorders like anorexia, bulimia represent the consequence of self-hatred carried to the extreme. More important still, women's self-hatred manifests itself as an unwillingness to grow and take the risks that growth demands. It is often difficult for women to see that their reluctance to accept maturity is a tacit refusal of adult responsibility. How can this be, they ask, as they feel themselves burdened, indeed overwhelmed by their responsibilities as wives, mothers, employees, and professionals. Yet by overzealousness in their obligations towards others, especially husbands and children, and a corresponding neglect of themselves, women manage to avoid inner growth. There is no quality of careful, of careless abandon to this spiritual irresponsibility. On the contrary, it is grim and confining. Let me say that again. By overzealousness in their obligations towards others, especially husbands and children, and a corresponding neglect of themselves, women manage to avoid inner growth. Now, I don't want you to feel offended. What I want you to do is sit with that thought and say, is that me? Am I the one? Is it time for me to raise my hand, say that's been me, and decide what's next? 